Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. We begin with the return of students to class at Bel Air High School today after the 19 year old who was killed on campus. The school putting security measures in place to keep something like this from happening again. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon has more. Those changes are effective today until further notice, though we have received messages from students and parents who question just how thorough that bag check was. Regardless, the line wrapped around the school this morning as students waited to return. I mean, it's not a normal day. It's never a normal day. Here at Bel Air High School, the gravity of reality sinks in. Heavy hearts and a heavy police presence as students return to school. I just hope like they take the right steps in like preventing it from happening again. Tuesday, a beloved student, 19-year-old Cesar Cortez, was shot and killed. Cortez dreamed of serving his country in the army. Luis Garcia was his friend. He knew the victim and the shooter. Like one of them got shot and he died in the hospital and it really hurt to be honest. Vigils Wednesday remembered this young life as parents and students demanded accountability from the district. And I feel like the school dropped the ball because this isn't the first time they found a gun on campus, it's the fourth. Starting today, the school is implementing new safety guidelines. This long line wrapping around the building is part of it. The school now opens at 715. Students can only use one entrance on Maple at the Circle Drive, and they'll have their bags checked. I mean, it's the right steps in the, in the right direction. An answer to fear. Well, we are kind of worried, to be honest, since, like, we're not really sure we're still safe in school. But students and parents question the district's leadership and its ability to keep students safe. This line right here is very idiotic, and it's too late. It's only going to be going on for like a week, maybe two weeks, then back to normal and back to the same stuff. For now, this is their new normal, and parents are doing what they can, too. I have to buy him a some sort of a bulletproof panel that goes inside his, his backpack. Students have planned a rally outside HISD headquarters Friday afternoon demanding accountability and answers. They say it's the district's lack of leadership, action, and communication that led to this student's death. From Bel Air, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.